Okay, so in terms of discovery, in the previous uh, sprints, we've spent time to uh, understand the pain points that users have when they use external tools in a course. And uh, in this previous sprint, we worked toward, uh, towards finding uh, solutions for these pain points. And uh, I want to uh, thank the PX team for the support provided, uh, particularly Julian Howland, uh, in this whole process. And we've during this process, we managed to um, uh, it identify a few areas that we are uh, trying to improve uh, in the following sprints. Um, so uh, first thing is uh, improve the creation and configuration of LTI external tool tools in the course. To achieve this, we're planning to uh, introduce a centralized page for creation of new uh, LTI external tools and uh, tools in a course. So currently, we don't have that. And uh, in order to create a new tool, you need to start the process of uh, creating uh, external activity, and then you can create it, which is not very intuitive uh, for users. So this will be a good improvement. Uh, also, we would like to improve the current creation form that we have um, and declutter all the unnecessary settings. Uh, and we only show the only relevant settings uh, based on the selected LTI version. And we would like to also enable teachers uh, to complete a full uh, LTI 1.3 registration without the assistance of an administrator, which is not possible at the moment. And we will need uh, and we will um, introduce a new capability uh, to uh, control this so basically admins will decide whether the teacher will have this power or not um, next slide please uh, the second aspect that we would like to improve is the management of lti tools in a course again we will introduce a new centralized page where um, teachers can um, view their existing uh, configured uh, LTI tools and uh, modify them as well. And the third aspect will be improving the usage of the of uh, configured external tools on a course. Uh, we, we will aim to achieve that by um, introducing, um, actually uh, display the configured LTI tools in the activity chooser. Um, so currently, they, uh, that this is controlled by a system's uh, system-wide setting, uh, and we'll likely ignore that in the future. So everything which is configured in the course level will always be displayed in the activity chooser. And uh, the other thing that we're trying to uh, will uh, aim to improve is to provide a minimal configuration when adding LTI tool as an activity or a resource in a course. Uh, yeah. So uh, these are the three aspects uh, that we're aiming to improve. And uh, now we'll, I will uh, let Barbara to uh, quickly demonstrate some of the uh, prototypes that we currently have related to the whole um, configuration and usage of external tools in the course. Over to you, Barbara. Thanks, Nihal. Let me just share my screen. Okay, so can you guys see my screen? Okay, so once again, um, thanks to the PX team for all their help. My name is Barbara and I'm the UX designer for the Alpha team. And so we're starting off with the um, user tour for the LPI just because we are actually uh, relocating the configuration for the configuration uh, management of LTI. We're gonna be putting it on the more menu. And so it would be good to um, give emphasis on where the new location is. Also, um, the new change is like, well, we're, this is still work in progress, but the idea is that on the activity chaser, you won't be able to see the LTI uh, external tool here just because it doesn't really allow you to um, configure it completely and so there is no point and it's a massive detour for you to just in the uh, mindset of creating activity only to to end up configuring the tool so um, the LTI tool will not show up here unless uh, it's been pre-configured so I'm going to start off now um, with uh, the configuration so I go to the external tool and but now we don't have any external tools so this is our sort of like zero state and so we're going to be adding 
a tool here and for now i'm just um here um showing you um how to configure an lpi 1.1 version and so from here you could then um, once you've saved it then it brings you to this page where you can manage it. Previously, as Neil mentioned, you would have to pretend to create an, an, an LTI tool to be able to see what's available and to be able to modify it as well. So that's no longer the case, at least for this um, proposal. And I just wanted to show you um, how you could actually, th there's a different um, flow for version 1.3, just because this one, uh, uh, previously needs um, or the current behavior needs um, admin intervention. So now with 1.3, we're allowing teachers to do it by themselves. Of course, this depends on their capabilities. So for now, they can have access to all this in information and then copy paste this to uh, the tool to establish the link between the platform and the tool. Also, now that we have created this, configured this, when we go to the activity chooser, you will now then see this um, example of um, LTI, which is called Santar. And so when you click on this activity, then you are just focused on the activity creation. There's no more detour here. There's nothing about the tool configuration. And that's the end of the journey for this prototype. You know what happens when you create an activity, then you'll be able to see it on your course page or see it on the LPI uh, page itself. Um, that's it for me, any questions?